What's going on guys? Matt Schaefer back here with another Mosaic audio file build for you. This one here in a 1968 Pontiac Firebird. So let's go ahead and check it out. This one here was a complete rebuild, full interior from start to finish. This car came in, interior was pretty much of a salvage. I mean, everything was worn, looked pretty original. So everything had to be replaced for us to do what we typically do. And that's install a really good audio system while keeping everything looking, you know, somewhat OEM. This client wanted the trunk to have some lighting, uh, wanted to be unique while integrating in, obviously, our high-end audio system. So breaking down, what we did in this trunk is we have four Moscone Pro uh, amplifiers. We have a four channel on the mid-range and tweeter up front. We have a Moscone Pro 210, which is our front six inch mid bass, and then two uh, Moscone Pro 110s. Each one goes to a Focal 10 inch Utopia sub, which is behind this beauty panel here. So I can overlay a picture here to show you what it looks like with all these beauty panels out. So you can see the subwoofer enclosure, the wiring, the DSP, which the DSP is a Helix DSP Ultra tucked back here in this corner. So the subs reside in a uh, sealed enclosure behind the trim panel here. So what you're looking at down here is our custom made grill, our custom made pattern, and the uh, subwoofer vents through this area here, this grill, and also in the rear deck, which I'll show you here shortly. The lighting accents up here is to really complement what you see in the tail lights. So when you're looking at it, from behind like this, it all pretty much keeps the same type of design. RGB lights up here, we can change whatever color we want. RGB lights down here in the lit amp rack. And of course we have accent lights underneath these half inch aluminum pieces. Now, I wanted to incorporate aluminum in the trunk and this is a way that we can basically mount this panel to this panel to keep everything sturdy. This thing floats. There is a stacked set of quarter or three eighths acrylic underneath here. And again, this bolts to each individual panel. We have a fuse panel here, which is removable. This thing pivots. I can show you here, pops out. And then we have our fuses right back there. So easy serviceability. And again, here is our fuse panel with our same grill design magnets on one side and of course you can see where it just pulls in and sucks in because it is magnetized we have our matching old school vinyl here that we redid the interior in so everything completely matches we have our black alcantara suede we have our carpet and closer look at the amp rack here of course our firebird logo right here this line design carries throughout the entire install. You can see it here as well into this inset acrylic piece in the aluminum. And then you can see it. It's going to be kind of tough to see. But if you're looking through the rear deck that we built here, and I can show you the same on the inside, but you can see it there, Focal logo with the lines, grill pattern, custom rear deck. We have a 6x9 here, and then we have a pass through here so this is another route for air to escape from the trunk into the cabin to vent to uh, reduce the amount of resonance that you would hear in the trunk from all the pressure building so this was a fiberglass molded piece we laid woven fiberglass onto the trunk lid and created that insert that way we could have the trunk lid completely finished off to make the trunk look finished off uh, I think I have a picture of the tr old trunk, what it looked like before when I got it. I'll overlay a picture here and also follow that by pictures of the sound treatment. So the trunk is fully sound treated before we laid all the wiring and all that kind of stuff. And then we built a subfloor out of composites. Finally, we have our intelligent power supply right here from XS Power. That is hooked up to a auxiliary battery, which we have here behind the panel. It's an XS Power battery, AGM battery. And in order to plug that in, we have that outlet right there, which basically connects to the power supply. So we can, this thing at a car show, we can have it have juice all day, uh, or if it's in storage and you have a car cover on there, it'll trickle charge the battery throughout the winter. And of course we have our 
floor insert, Alcantara suede on the bottom, carpet top. This thing just falls right here into place and you can still throw some stuff in here for storage with no issues at all. So it's still completely functional. This should give you a little bit better view of the rear deck that we built. You have the Firebird logo again there in the center. And again, we have our two six by nines and the pass through. Completely new seats back here. New, completely new seats, new vinyl, new side panels, custom made side panel that have USB charging. Of course, new hard piece headliner, LED lighting. And of course, new carpet, new seats up front, uh, new everything really. Completely new door panels that were retrofitted on here. This car came with a completely different style. We went with this OE style, completely retrofitted these door panels to give the OEM appearance up front, complete with a brand new dashboard. So the old one was completely cut out as it's welded into place and this new one was modified to go into place every connection up here was completely swapped out and replaced before we obviously did the interior the full bottom of the floor was completely sound treated in hush mat followed by sound shield same thing with the headliner the headliner was completely ripped out and sound shield was applied to the entire roof completely custom built center console vinyl top carpet bottom to match the carpet floor and then of course we have our uh, door locks that we added, as well as our Helix Conductor DSP controller. So this is our volume knob. We have our cup holder, again, our Firebird logo, and then our custom shifter housing. So we have some aluminum squeezed in between those two pieces of vinyl inserts and then of course we have our aluminum top and then we have our 10 inch sony radio love integrating these into these older cars they have a very classic clean look and have wireless apple carplay um, to the left of that we have our vase sear so this is our push button start acts just like a normal push button start in a modern car and it kind of makes the older car feel obviously a lot more up to date and retro so up top i can overlay some pictures here but we have our mid-range and tweeter and a custom pod here's some pictures of the pod so you can better see the detail of what's up here on the dash but we have our utopia m 3.5 and our tbm tweeter as well as down here in our custom kick panels we have our six inch focal utopia m drivers with our aluminum accent and of course our focal branding on there so those kick panels were completely custom made as well as all these pods on the dash you can kind of get a good look here of the center channel grill now this is a fake grill the reason for that is we have our gps antennas which reside underneath this grill and this is a metal dash so obviously the gps can't go through the metal so we created a fake out grill um which obviously of course helps direct your attention when you're listening to the sound stage of the vehicle because it sounds like there's a center channel there active but obviously there are no speakers here in the center um so we have a one seat tune in this car and like always we have multiple presets so preset one it would have one green led that would be for our sony radio preset two would be for our HECBT, so when we stream our phone directly to the DSP processor to get a little bit better sound quality. And then preset three is going to be for our Astell and Kern high res player. Um, so we use the analog out of this, and that's gonna give you the best source of audio that we can achieve with the current sound system setup that we have. With this off, if you don't have the player in here, this now becomes a wireless charging pad for a phone. So obviously you put the magnet on the bottom of your phone here. Now this is a platform to wirelessly charge your cell phone for seamless integration. So I know it seems like it's kind of rushed. I'm just kind of losing daylight here, but this car and this build was probably one of the largest things that I've ever done because it was a full interior swap. Every single piece of this interior uh, came out, got swapped out and retrofitted to a newer condition because this interior was completely close to completely trashed as it came in so we have this interior completely into brand new shape with a lot of modern electronics with the classic feel and integration and of course the utmost and best sound quality that is probably in any old firebird out there 
I can almost 100% assure you that. So thank you guys so much for continuously following these builds and uh, this car was sold off of a C3 vet that I did. So again, you YouTube people just keep the cars coming in. I really appreciate it. It's a blast working on these cars and being able to bring these cars that mean a lot to people back to life in uh, a really cool shape, which is really hard to be achieved. So if you have a build or any questions for me, here is my email address followed by my phone number. These are the two best points of contact. And then of course you have Instagram. Here are my three handles below, followed by my TikTok handle. The TikTok, I post a lot of in-depth build in progress videos. So you can go ahead and check that out there. And then of course, if you're new to the channel, we post videos on here all the time of every completed project that we do. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that alert bell to notify you anytime that we drop a new video. Also, finally, check out our podcast. It's called the Old Fashioned Car Audio Podcast. We dive into the depths of car audio and what makes a car sound good in 2022. Go ahead and check that out. It's streaming on Spotify or anywhere that you get your podcasts. Also, check out our website, mosaicdesign.com. We have our full catalog of build logs and access to all our YouTube videos throughout this one specific website. So check that out, it's mosaicdesign.com. And like always guys, thanks for the feedback, thanks for the follow, thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time.